स्टूडेंट्स ये टॉपिक इसी ग्लोबल पॉलिसी टू प्रोटेक्ट एनवायरनमेंट व्हाट इज द ग्लोबल पॉलिसी द डिफरेंट ग्लोबल नेशंस लीडर्स प्रेसिडेंट ओके एडॉप्टेड दिस पॉलिसी एंड जस्ट दे गाइडलाइन फॉर द नेशन फॉर द होल कंट्रीज टू ओके टू फॉलो दिस ग्लोबल पॉलिसी टू प्रोटेक्ट एनवायरनमेंट यू सी हियर इन दिस solar energy wind energy tidal energy biomass etc non conventional source of energy we have to use this again measure to prevent global warming reduce the use of sources which release co2 afforestation and conservation of forest growing plants and trees around your house to reduce carbon dioxide avoid using plastic optimum and judicious use of manure pesticides household applications natural resources petroleum products electricity means of transport and water control population etc so practice of rain and water harvesting so these are the things we should follow again in this uh, you know okay, dear student in this thing conference were held first at stockholm the capital of sweden in 1972 and then in rio de Genio of Brazil to think of ways to protect the environment. In a meeting held at Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark, in 2009, it was observed that developed nations like USA should adopt the carbon cut policy. Okay, seriously, as every U.S. citizen produces 20.6 metric tons of greenhouse gases, and the developing countries like India should be given an aid to tune of about 100 billion dollars. an average person releases 4.5 metric tons an average indian releases 1.2 metric tons and a citizen of us releases 220.6 metric tons of carbon like carbon greenhouse gases so again 16 september is observed as ozone day all over the world so it was decided and it was uh, described here this thing so this is a global policy to protect environment in this meeting okay this was discussed and advise this nations to follow this to save our environment thank you students